Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Streaming. I'm your host, Jeremiah, and today we're going to be talking about Max, the updated HBO Max, which of course was updated from DC Universe and AT&T Online, uh, and of course from Discovery. Uh, we'll talk about it. So, Max. HBO Max's update merger, they claim it has so much more content, and it probably does. And we're going to show it to you today. So it's been out this week. There were some issues. I'm not even going to talk about the creator, the creator's issue, which pff, when you're negotiating with multiple guilds at the same time and have another one protesting, you should probably have thought about that before you did it. But that's not what we're going to talk about. They also had some server issues when they started, which you'd think since it, Warner Brothers has run the, probably a dozen streaming services by now that they'd be ready for that. But no, 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 no. But we're going to talk about what it looks like. So... This is Max, at least the home page of Max. It divides things up with series, movies. HBO has its own place, um, partially because of the way contracts are, I'm assuming new and notable. So let's look at how new and notable set up. So has featured, which is quite common. Most streaming services have this one. New episodes, which I appreciate. If there's new episodes, it'll show there. Just added, coming soon. And then it just goes with, you know, the normal way um as far as this goes this page is pretty good now let's have a look so if we want to look at action this is where i have some issues so there's action for me clearly i watch a lot of ben 10 in my family and superhero stuff so critically claimed fine and then we go heart pounding thrillers the art of fighting teens to the rescue epic battles wanted dead or alive for the whole family Enter the war zone. Beware the apocalypse. Lay down the law. Shaken up, sir. This one is one of the few ones that actually make very total sense. Superhero showdown. Black action heroes. From page to screen. Hidden gems. A lot of these ones you'll see movies repeating over and over. On stage legendary stand-up. Popular in comedy. Love is in the air. What I'm getting at is... Max has decided to have the... I put it, the Netflix approach with how they organize things. Lots of random weird categories. Not all of them make sense. And um, a lot of movies will just pop up on the same one over and over and over and over. Some of these don't even have a lot of them. Like, let's just look. This one, politics is a joke. I was looking at some of these the other day, and they have, look, that's the entire category. It's done. Other ones will be slightly longer. Kicks, hits, and punchlines. Comedy action, I'd say. This one's significantly longer than the legal one. And then done. So a lot of these ones are just kind of like random. So if you want to find anything directly, like say you want to just look at A through Z. I've done that with Peacock a lot. You actually have to go to A through Z and hope you find what you're looking for. Because there's no straightforward divisions. Some people like that, some people don't. But they still do have the A through Z. You just have to kind of find it. Series, I say series works a little better than movies. Probably because the way series are divided up, they, there's less um, crossover. But notice they do have lots of stuff that are from other networks which I appreciate. And there's definitely a lot more content here. If you want to look at brands, here are the brands. So HBO, Max Original, TLC, HDTV, DC, Wizarding World, Food Network, Discovery, Magnolia, TCM, Adult Sim, Studio Ghibli, Kids and Family, which is a kind of a weird one they have here. Let's say Cartoon Network, Sesame Workshop, Travel Channel, Id, and CNN. Okay. Kids and Family, this one is kind of like the dump all for everything, which is which is fine. I'm glad they have it. But it's not really like a brand. They should have put like Hanna-Barbera or something, maybe. Um, some of the ones that they put in here, like, really, is the West Wing a show for teens? Like, these ones are. But is West Wing really a show for teens? I'm not exactly sure. I, I wouldn't say so. But this is what they have for teens. Like, cold case? Not teens now. 
Um, that's kind of a weird, a weird mix of stuff. Movies, they say there's a lot of movies, but I'll, I'll say this, there's not a lot of ways to find exactly what you're looking for. Now, you can just go around and be like, okay, let's look at action or look at movies. Look at literal lulls. Is, what is this category? Like, it's supposed to literally make you laugh? Rock Dog is not a funny movie. It's terrible. Men in Black 3 I enjoyed quite a bit, but I don't watch it because it's a comedy. Smoking Aces. Is that, why is that in the same category as Rock Dog? Kung Fu Panda next to stand-up comedy? It's weird, okay? It is It is weird. I do not like how they organize it. But I do believe them when they say they have a lot of content on here. I know they're moving a lot. I know there's a lot of stuff that they're, you know, th there's a strike going on. There's stuff that's not popular. There's some originals they've moved out. I know they're removing Ben 10 soon, which is very disappointing. But I do believe them when they say there's a lot of movies on here and a lot of content. And it's not all Warner Brothers. Which I appreciate, because you're going to see Warner Brothers content on Roku and other places. But, as of right now, I do not like this organization. I do not like how they're dividing it up. And, it's odd. Okay, like Love and Laughs. A lot of these ones, these are rom-coms. And... You know, this category, I have a feeling, is probably pretty good. Uh, yeah, 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 Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles, yeah. But some of these other ones are really, are really not. Like Hidden Gem. I wouldn't call Battle Super Sons a Hidden Gem. It's a DC animated movie. Under the Skin, sure. Last Days on Mars, sure, I guess. Time me up, time me down is in like eight categories. I don't know what that is. David Bowie, okay. Book of Life, okay. A lot of these ones are like major award winning, winning movies or shows. Spotlight's pretty good. And so I don't know. Like, would you count Sleepy Hollow as a hidden gem? We have a lot of money. Um, At least in the same category as like The Host or The Bitch. Uh, why is Wonder Woman Bloodlines in here? I, I, I don't see some of their rationale. Vixen, they put this as a movie multiple times. Vixen is a miniseries that was on the CW. They did release it as a movie, but it's a miniseries from the CW. I, yeah, I was going about. But as far as it goes, yes, it works well. Yes, it loads pretty well. Yes, it, avail it works on Roku. It works on a computer. I'm on a computer right now. I watch it on Roku myself. Yes, it has a lot of content. It's not all as clean as I would like, but I would say this app is better in the technical side than HBO Max was and the Discovery app. Uh, is it worth is it worth the money? I believe the cheapest option you have is ten dollars, and that's uh, with ads. Um, probably it's probably worth your money. Is it the best service? As of right now, no, but it could get better. Does it have a lot of stuff? Yes, this is probably the most content you're going to have in any one of these. Maybe Netflix will have more. But it's up to you. Um, I'm, I'm getting used to it. Um, it's not the easiest to find thing, but it does have a lot. And I think as far as a service where you can just go scroll through and find something you want to watch, this is probably a pretty good one for that. I've definitely gone through Peacock and Paramount Plus and just scrolled through a whole ton of movies to see if I can find one I watch, and not all the times do I. This one, I don't think I'll have a problem with that. The, prob the only problem I'll have is occasionally just like finding the option to just keep on scrolling rather than some of these categories just have the same movies repeating over and over. Like Shazam. Shazam is there. Is Where was that? Here and here and here. Probably in this one somewhere. Let's see. Nope. Wow. That's actually kind of impressive. Um, probably is in this one. Yeah, there's the first Shazam. So the second one I'd assume would be in there somewhere. But it's not. So why? I, I don't know. Um, but it is it is clean. It is work. Um, there is controversy with it. 
I imagine they'll be fixing up as they go. But they did deliver on the promise of having a lot of content, um, having a relatively clean setup. I do wish there was more categories at the top. Um, new and notable is probably the best place to go as far as getting stuff. If you want to go by genre, here's the genres they do have. Action, adult animation, adventure and survival, auto description, comedy, crime, documentaries, drama, events, fantasy and sci-fi, food and home, horror, kids and family, paranormal, reality, science and nature, and sports. I actually don't know what sports they have in this one. Oh. Of course. So, it's up to you. If it's something you want and interested in, go right ahead. If it's you like HBO Max, yeah, there's no reason not to keep this. If you like Discovery, no reason not to get both. Um, if you weren't interested in it before, this is not going to really help now. But, I can see it. Yeah, this is definitely returned to be one of the, the top three easily of the streaming services as far as like sheer content and must-have content. So, win on that. We'll see what they continue doing. With the Brighter Strike, I imagine a lot of the shows they're doing, it's going to slow down for a while. Everyone's will. Um, but WB has a very deep catalog. And I imagine this one will, will stay that way for quite a while. What do you guys think? That is Max. Sound off in the comments.